peace be upon you all this is a very brief overview of world religions to be followed by three videos on each of the abrahamic religions i'd like to evoke here three key points about religion generally uh, the first concerns the definition of religion what is religion the answer to this question seems uh, quite evident and taken for granted by many people however like uh, several other concepts in the humanities that is in human sciences religion is not uh, easy to define uh, we all seem to know what religion is until the question what is religion is thrown into our face uh, I remember here Saint Augustine who was once asked what is time uh, a question to which he replies I have always known what time is until you asked me right now uh, so uh, why this is so because uh, religion or because every definition includes as much as it excludes that is uh, every definition includes certain element but at the same time excludes certain elements and this is why uh, some definitions uh, particularly uh, in the humanities are problematic take for example the definition of religion as belief okay if you just define it religion as solely as belief uh, then the question arises which belief okay belief in what belief uh, for example in god okay that that might might seem as uh, an acceptable definition of religion i said might seem so we'll come to that uh, in a moment but for example take for example belief uh, in uh, or belief that uh, certain people in a certain uh, country or city are rich i believe that these people are good or i believe that does that apply to religion does that count as uh, religion of course not to many people does not that does not uh, sound as uh, a valid definition of religion but let's take the let's go a step further and define religion as a belief in a god okay but there there are some religions which believe in more than one god and there are still other religions which do not believe uh, in any god so that does not sound as a valid uh, definition of religion as well uh, for example another definition of religion might be uh, a, a, a belief and practice a belief in uh, trans transcendent reality and a practice and a set of practices hence uh, here again a relig this definition is problematic because some religions do not have uh, do not entail practices they believe in a deity but without practices but still there are other religions which believe which uh, have rituals and and practices but without believe in believing in a specific deity so as you can see uh, each of these definitions is uh, problematic and excludes as much as it includes of course we are speaking here about religion as belief but uh, and not uh, about uh, we are not concerned here about the true which religion is true this is another question uh, the second point i'd like also to evoke is the relationship between religion and culture religion is uh, an, an essential and uh, essential and important element of culture if, if not the most important and uh, the most essential essential uh, component of culture and there is always this relationship between this in integration between religion and cultural 
practices. So cultural practices are shaped by religious beliefs and practices and religion itself is also uh, influenced and shaped by culture, uh, cultural practices. So they are enmeshed and integrated with each other. Sometimes it is even difficult to separate them. Uh, this is so because religion permeates and infiltrates all aspects of life to the point that it becomes uh, intertwined and integrated uh, with uh, religion. So this is a very important fact to keep in mind as well. The third uh, point which I'd, which I'd uh, like to stress equally is uh, the primordial, primordial role which religions played in uh, the establishment or in the creation of civilizations. Uh, many intellectuals uh, stress this, this idea. I recall here uh, Arnold Twimby, Gustave Le Bon, uh, Merik Benunabi, uh, to whom I referred in a previous video, who all of whom argued that the religious idea uh, it is the religious idea which sparked uh, civilization. So civilizations are outgrowths of, uh, of, of religions and they are predicated in religions and they, uh, they thrived on the margins of religions. And it is uh, religions stood behind uh, many uh, civilizational achievements. Uh, this is so because uh, religions are uh, structure not only uh, communities but also uh, the inner uh, world or the inner self of every uh, individual according to Malik ibn Nabi but also to uh, these, the intellectuals I have just mentioned. Recalling what we said earlier, there are several types of religions, monotheistic religions or uh, religions which believe in one and only one and unique God. Uh, polytheistic religions are religions which believe in more than one uh, deity, uh, like Hinduism, for example, or the pre-Islamic uh, religious practice of the communities in the Arabic peninsula, uh, like Quraysh, for example. Uh, non-theism or non-theistic religions are religions which do not include any belief in any god or gods. Recall that theism in non-theism, monotheism, polytheism, theism means uh, uh, god or deities, generally speaking. So non-theism, non, uh, there are uh, no gods or uh, godless uh, religious practices. Atheism, this is another belief, uh, but a belief of uh, the, uh, that th there is no God or gods, a disbelief in the existence of God or gods. Uh, this is quite modern okay atheism have uh, always been uh, there right on the margins of uh, religions and religious beliefs but it become so institutionalized and vigorous uh, in uh, in our modern times particularly in in the west There are many religions in the world, but these are the five major world religions. Hinduism uh, is a polytheistic religion, that is a religion which uh, does not, uh, uh, which includes, uh, sorry, includes many uh, gods and deities. Brahma is the major uh, uh, deity in Hinduism, but uh, Hindus believe in uh, more than uh, three million gods. So there are many, many gods 
in Hinduism. Judaism is one of the oldest religions in the world and uh, it dates back to uh, at least 4,000 years ago and it is a monotheistic religion in addition to Christianity and Islam. Buddhism, Buddhism uh, is uh, an example uh, of a religion which does not include any god or, or gods. Christianity is the second monotheistic religion in chronological order and Islam is the last of the three monotheistic religions in uh, chronologi chronologically speaking, of course. Uh, this is uh, a map which displays the distribution of religions around the world. Uh, the share of the of the line, as you can see, goes for Christianity, followed by uh, Islam, then by Buddhism, Hinduism, and other. Uh, while other religions are scattered or just occupy smaller uh, spaces on the world map. Again, this. Uh, figure uh, displays the distribution of religions around the world but in percentages again uh, Christianity is the largest of all religions uh, as much as uh, the follower followers are concerned followed by Islam and other religions this is according to Pew Research Center in 2010 so this is quite an o older uh, uh, statistics. However, Muslims are projected to be the fastest growing major religious group. This is a report by Pew Research Center and it's quite, it's quite uh, a recent uh, report. I think it goes back to 2018 or 20, 2019. Uh, as you can see uh, in, the l in the figure on the left, uh, the number of Muslims is estimated to grow at a rate which is more than 70%. Uh, in the figure on the right, ba babies are, uh, or Muslim babies, uh, are begin, begin to outnumber Christians' births, or just will begin to outnumber Christians' births in by the next decade. So, uh -huh. In the next three presentations, I focus on the three monotheistic relig religions and I'll devote a video for each of these. The three monotheistic religions, Judaism, Christianity and Islam, share many characteristics and indeed there are a lot of things that is uh, common to all of them. First, they are monotheistic religions, that is, they believe in one and only one and unique God, a God who is all-knowing, almighty, omnipotent, who takes care of his people, who punishes and rewards. Although this uniqueness of God is a bit compromised uh, in Christianity, as we shall see uh, in the next video. They are also described as Abrahamic religions, that is because of the importance of the figure of uh, Abraham, the patriarch, Abraham, the prophet uh, of God, peace be upon him. Uh, the idea of the covenant, al-mithaq, is very important for the Jews, and the first and the first covenant took place between God and Abraham two years before Christian era, that is four years ago. For Christians, uh, because Christians believe in much uh, of what uh, do of um, much of what the Jews believe in, and it's an extension of Judaism in many ways. Uh, the figure uh, or the patriarch Abraham is also very important to Christians, although I think to uh, a, in a lesser degree than. Uh, for the Jews and for Muslims. In Islam, uh, the figure or uh, the prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, and his son uh, Ismail or Ishmael uh, are 
uh, important in uh, for Muslims okay it is they who first uh, constructed or reconstructed uh, the the Kaaba the, the one the most important shrine for Muslims and uh, the ritual of Eid al-Adha uh, in for Muslims okay goes back to uh, to uh, the act of uh, Abraham uh, and who obeyed the command of God to uh, sacrifice his son uh, Ismail or Ishmael. Uh, all of the three uh, uh, Abrahamic religions uh, have uh, prophets. Uh, for the Jews, there are many prophets, uh, the most important of whom are Abraham and uh, Isaac, uh, uh, Jacob, and uh most importantly moses but there are many others david solomon and the others and others for Christ for christians they also believe in these gods but the most important or just uh, uh, the most important figure in for christians is of course jesus uh, the messiah who uh, corroborated what uh, uh, the prophecies in the, in the uh, Hebrew Bible. For Muslims, uh, Muslims believe in all of the prophets, but believe that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the seal uh, and the last of the prophets. Uh, the holy books, okay, all of whom have uh, holy books, the Hebrew Bible, the Bible, uh, or the, uh, the Bible for the Christians and the Quran for Muslims. Uh, strikingly, all of these three religions were born uh, in the Middle East. The Judaism in Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia, modern day Iraq and and uh, uh, and its vicinity. Uh, for Christians in in Jerusalem, modern day Palestine, and for Muslims in the Arabic Peninsula, Jazeera Al Arabia today, uh, Saudi Arabia. In modern Saudi Arabia uh, all of whom have holy sites we'll speak about later uh, all of them have rituals and observances so they are not just beliefs but beliefs which are uh, uh, to which uh, observances rituals and practices are uh, integrated are essential and integral part and all of whom have rites of passage or rites de passage these are the moments in one's life which mark the transition from one stage to the other so we'll